plan is to ban sex education for children under nine. We're going to read into this more from the BBC, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here with an article from the BBC with a headline of a plan to ban sex education for children under nine. Schools in England will be banned from teaching sex education to children under nine in new government guidelines expected to be published on Thursday. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share it across social media so others are notified of this video. So let's, um, obviously by the time you guys, maybe any of you who will watch this video, will probably the guidelines will be published and then you can have a little bit more in detail to it. And I have spoken about sex education. I've spoken about LGBTQ rights and those about young children, young teenagers who have these feelings of wanting to change their opposite sex or they feel that they have uh, attractiveness to the same sex. And in my opinion is I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I think we should be extremely careful about it. Now, the last time I had a discussion about this kind of stuff, it, it definitely caused controversy. And I no doubt that whatever I say, I'm going to cause controversy on this either way. But let me just say this. One of the most important things is the protection and the well-being of the children. And that while they, may, they must understand about education and sex education, which I believe is important, um, there does need to be guidance on it, but there are already guidance on this. Now, I personally believe that the reason that the government are introducing this is not for the sake of children. It is not for the well-being of the schools or for the teachers in any way, shape or form. This is being designed, this has been made for one reason and one reason only, to stoke more culture wars, stoke more cultural differences and tension. This is what we've been consistently saying the whole time. If it's not one thing, it's another thing. This is just nothing more than that. Um, and I feel like that children are just being put in the crossfires here by a government determined to distract the nation from the public on the real issues taking place in the UK. And is this a major issue? Is this a major catastrophe? Now, there are some places where this is an issue, and we'll reveal some of those in this article. But overall, the overall picture, there isn't too much of an issue with this. And I can completely understand some parents obviously being concerned about their children being taught sex education, but it is something they need to be taught in schools. But the other thing is as well is that as generations and times has changes, I think one of the most difficult things is being able to battle and combat the, the, the internet, the ability for children to be able to research and do their own research and look at their own websites and, and apps and whatnots away from their parents and be able to make those judgmental decisions on their own as opposed to not taking it from parents and teachers like they used to because back in my day, the internet wasn't, as only just started, it wasn't a big thing then. But this now internet is obviously playing a massive role and it's a free wild wild rest. So I do think that needs to be taken a factor when it comes to what kind of, uh, what kind of sex education that they find within schools, but also how we control, and I do say the word control, how we can control what children are looking to outside of outside the parameters of, of the control of parents and schools and teachers and whatnot. Um, we have to be, we have to be, be very careful here. Because what you don't want to do, and this is this is why I, what I fear the, the conservative government are trying to do, um, is you don't want to um, cause for concern certain communities, certain minorities out there, 
uh, of people who generally have these feelings where they want to change their gender or they want to be attracted to the same sex or they don't consider themselves male or female non-binary. These people are out there and they should be treated with the same respect and dignity as you and I. And this is very important and what really concerns me is that I feel that this has been introduced without enough, without anywhere near enough discussion with schools, with teachers, with parents, and with some of the communities and industry and some of the communities and uh, and groups out there who may be affected by these proposals. And I think if you're not prepared to put to when something is sensitive to this and let's be all in agreement this is a very sensitive topic if you're not prepared to have a lot of people involved if you're going to change change policies or, or whatsoever with this in school and you're not willing to discuss this in detail with schools with parents um, with all these groups then you are putting these children at risk some of them worse off than others and I think that's really important here. Like I said, this is a very sensitive topic. Now I'm going to be treading in a minefield trying to say the right things here. But let's just read a bit more into this. Like I said, the, re the report will come out uh, within uh, by Thursday. But by the time you guys see this, you might have already seen the report. But let's read what the BBC has to say on this. So... Like I said, in schools in England will be banned from teaching sex education to children under nine. The new government guidance expected to be published on Thursday. Now, I'm just going to say this before I even read the rest of it, because I think this is important. Do children need to be taught about sex at the age of nine? Me personally, I don't think they need to. That's me personally. You can disagree. But I don't think they need to. I think there are plenty of other things that they should be. They, they can focus their minds on other things. That being said. They still need to be taught sex education. But at the age of nine. Do they really understand it? Now obviously like I said. The fear is obviously. The internet. Social media. That kind of stuff. And yes there are. And yes, as people will point out in the comments. There are ways we can mitigate as parents. And, and what lots of ways. Of combating that there are ways we can mitigate uh, kids being exposed to that kind of to the online content of, uh, of certain sex and there are ways to mitigate that but do we need children from nine and under to be taught it my personal opinion no that's just my personal opinion but maybe in other countries it's different so let me know what you think on that so the BBC has not seen the new guidelines, but a government source said it also include plans to ban any children being taught about gender identity. Head teachers said there is no evidence of a widespread problem with an age appropriate material. One union has said that the review is politically motivated. This is exactly what I think. This is exactly what I'm, I'm worried about here. Mm. Head teachers have said there's no evidence of widespread problem with an age appropriate material. So if there's no evidence of this, why are we doing this? And of course, as a union saying it, this is politically motivated. I said it before about the stoking of culture wars here. The statutory guidance on relationships, sex and education, that's the RSHE, which schools must follow by law, is currently under review. The government believes clearer guidance will provide support for teachers and reassure for parents and will set out which topics should be taught to pupils at what age. Now, if I'm absolutely honest, why are we making it, why are we, and I know I'm going to be a hypocrite here, why are we saying this topic should only be taught at this age, this age, this age, this age, this age, when it is should be the teacher should be able to make the conscious decision. Now, I just hypocrited myself here by saying that you just said, that sex education shouldn't need to be taught from nine and under. Again, that's my personal opinion. But how much restrictions should we need to put on teachers? I generally want to know, teachers, if they are listening, what they honestly think about this. And 
if they do talk, teach sex education, how they go about approaching it, because I really think it would help me, and I think it would help other people watching this video as well. Rigid Limits by Paul Whiteman. But Paul Whiteman, sorry. The General Secretary at School Leaders Union, NAHT, said, if what has been leaked is accurate, the government must provide evidence which unequivocally shows that such a limits will improve the support, protection and safeguarding of children and young people. Many children already access information from outside of schools which might lead to teachers being asked about sensitive topics, he said. It's hard to see how rigid limits on what can be discussed and when it would be in the best interest of young people. And this may even risk them seeking information from less reliable sources, Mr. Whiteman said. Now, if a teacher can't talk about it and a child uh, is about a certain topic because of the age restrictions and what they are said. Now, if they can't and uh, those child child is uncomfortable about talking to it to their parents, who are they going to go to? They may, like it said, it's possible that that person may go to an unreliable source. And that's extremely dangerous. The NAHT has previously said the review is politically motivated and there is no evidence to suggest a widespread problem of inappropriate content being taught. If I'm absolutely honest, I agree with this assessment that inappropriate content is not being taught. Um, and I think if there was, I'm pretty sure it would be highlighted very clearly and obviously. But the NAHT are saying it's not. Suffolk Primary Head Teacher Association Director Rebecca Leake said the government's proposals would not make that much difference. Sex education was not typically taught until year six anyway, when children turn 10 and parents already have the right to withdraw their child, she told BBC for Radio 4 Today programme. It's a safe, that's a safeguard there. If they already have the right to withdraw their child, about certain sex education. There's the safeguards there for the children, for the parents, and a, a, suit, a reasonable time for the kids. So, what are the current RSHE rules? So, relationship educations have been compulsory for primary schools since September 2020. Children are taught about healthy, respectful relationships, focusing on family and friendship, including online and social media. This is very important. They also learn about physical health, parts of body, boundaries, and puberty. Again, very important stuff. The government strongly encourages schools to include teaching about different types of family and same-sex relationships. Again, no issues there. At secondary school, relationship, sex, and health education is mandatory and covers content on a wide range of key topics. It includes sex, sexual relationships, consent, online abuse, domestic abuse, and female genital mutilation, or FGM. In some cases, parents have a right to remove their child from some sex education lessons, but not from the relationships education. That seems perfectly reasonable. There's consensus there for parents if they feel that certain, certain lessons that they don't, certain things they're not comfortable with their child learning. That seems perfectly reasonable. So Pepe Del Acio, a head teacher of a school in Rotherham and general secretary of the Association of School and College Leaders, told today that he believes that pupils are being used as a political football. Teachers want well-informed and evidence-based decisions, he said, and not politicised guidance. All head teachers have to assess their curriculum and move their curriculum in order to cope with whatever might be the issue of the day. Whilst we welcome the chance to look at this, we also need the flexibility to respond to whatever these particular needs are. In a separate interview with BBC News, Mr. D'Alessio added, 10 years ago, there was no need to teach, uh, teach about sexuality exploitive images being shared on social media. And three years ago, that might have been delivered at the age of 14, 15, and now we're having to deliver it at age 11 or 12. The National Education Union, the UK's second largest teaching union, agreed with Agreed primary school children need to be able to discuss with trusted adults information they pick up online about their relationships. About relationships. 
Uh, General Secretary Daniel Kibib said the government was seeding doubts about whether school leaders and teachers thought carefully about what they taught about relationships. And yes, this is this is where the crux of why it had to change. It had to change because of social media, um, because you can only suppress so much. There's always going to be someone in the groups of kids that they hang out with who will be able to find a way past these barriers that parents and teachers and what you've installed in your phone. There will always be the one odd kid or or and someone who is not in the interest of children showing them something that they should not be seeing. And then if they're asked at school, the teachers need to be able to respond to it if they are not if the child is not comfortable with talking about it with a parent. That's not to say that parents shouldn't be able to respond. But there are obviously cases, understandably, that some children are just not comfortable talking with the parents and they're more reasonable talking about it with a teacher. It, like I said, all these things vary, which is why I think teachers need to be able to be have a variety of tools available to them to match whatever uh, whatever um, questions come at them at the hands of children, whatever they may be. But this is something also that is an issue. Parents angry about same sex education uh, education protests outside Anderson Park School back in 2019. So in 2019, the head teacher Sarah uh, Hewitt Clarkson needed a court order to stop protesters outside Anderson Park Primary, which later spread across England. The protests aiming to stop LGTB relationship education, with many parents and activists claiming it contradicted their Islamic faith and was not age appropriate and was utterly devastated, she said. Five years on, Ms. Emily Cl uh, Emily Hewitt Clarkson told BBC News the upcoming government guidelines must eliminate the grey areas. Kids do need to be taught that there are some relationships. Now, what age that should be, I can't give a straight answer. But kids at a certain age should be taught that there are some people, there are people who are attracted to the same sex. And that it should be. Uh, and they should be treated with respect and dignity just like everybody else. Now, obviously, the tradition is always the mum and the dad, two different sexes. That's always been tradition. But obviously, as time has changed, and we at times have long changed, and more and more we welcome diversity, as I think is the right word. And we have to teach children at a certain age that it is okay for some people to to have uh, to have feelings about of, about the same sex or even all uh, all sex or genders, uh, male or female, which is of course bisexual. What age that should be? Is not my place to answer, but um, I think it should be taught at a certain age, because if you don't discuss it, you're leaving it to the parents, or what's worse, you're letting the internet make that decision for them, which could lead them down a very dark path, which we don't want social media and the internet to tell kids whether about LGTB relationships you would rather a teacher be teaching them at a certain age and not teaching them to be LGBT no teaching them about it and why people have those feelings and that that is not to say to children that you could being very clear here like I said, I'm walking a tightrope on this. But I know there will be a lot of people who will be watching and saying to me that children should not be taught anything about LGBT. So you want to let the internet decide. You want to let the Wild West of the World Wide Web to decide what how children are told about LGBT. Rather than a teacher who has knowledge about this and that can teach them what is right and what is wrong, you would rather 
let that be in the hands of the internet. Now, you as a parent might say, no, I don't want the teachers teaching them because I don't want my child to become gay or lesbian. That's going to be your prerogative, right? And I understand that if that's something, if I understand that concern. But when they are over 18, is it not when they reach a plus 18, when that person is no longer a child, is it not their choice to decide what they want to do with their future? Again, I'm talking the tight rope on this, but I do, I do, sh I do really do share the concerns about people with this. I don't think there's ever a right way of doing this, if I'm honest. Because somebody somewhere is always going to feel vindicated when we talk about this. But I agree here with Miss Elliot Clarkson that's saying that the guidance must eliminate grey areas. She so said the current guidelines include a grey area in its encouragement of schools to teach about LGBT. BT relationships. It's what left people open to protest outside my school, thinking it was my choice as a head teacher to say that some people have two mummies, she said. There should be no wiggle room. It should be nowhere, uh, nowhere and no way for people to say you can't do that. Under current guidelines, it is down to primary schools to decide whether they need to cover any aspects of sex education to meet the needs of the pupil. It's an extremely sensitive and difficult situation for any teacher to have those conversations, I will say. Last year, more than 50 Conservative MPs wrote to the Prime Minister claiming children were being exposed to inappropriate content and rationale and unevidenced ideologies about sex and gender. In response, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak brought forward a review of the RSHE guidance, a review that was already due before the end of 2023. Government source told the BBC that the forthcoming guidance would say that teachers will be required to be clear that gender ideology is contested if asked about it. But we don't live in a world where there is just male and female anymore. People choose to be trans. People choose to be non-binary. People choose to be other genders. So is that right? Is it right to tell them? And then they find out later in life that that's not true, that they were taught something different than they were in school. Hmm. Separate guidelines published last year stated teachers should inform parents if their child wishes to change their gender identity at school. Unlike the RSHC guidance, which gender identified guidance is non-statutory. Now I got now I this one I got into a quite heated with some people on here, where I said that parents should be informed. But one of the counter arguments that people made um, the last time I discussed it was that they said that um, was that they are worried about their the reaction of how parents would. And in some cases, some of the people who are subscribed to my channel, who I will not name names, where they have suffered at the hands of being told, of having to tell their parents about them wanting to change their, uh, change their sex and, um, and having these feelings and whatnot. And, and I totally understand that. But again, I, I, my argument, my, my argument was, is that a parent should have a right to know. And if they deem the parents to be a threat to the child, then action needs to be taken by the school to ensure that that child does not suffer from the parents if the parents deem are going to be a concern to that child. That's my That was my position. And I still stand by that position, even if people disagree with me on it. In the Northern Ireland, relationships and sexual education, RSE, is mandatory for all pupils. Schools can develop their own policies. 
So in Northern Ireland, it's kind of like for a bit more free reign. So it's down to the teachers to kind of decide how they want to engage with it, rather than being very clear on this. Oh, I see it's been mandatory in Wales uh, school, Welsh schools since 2022. The guidance to schools set out which the de developmentally appropriate topics should be covered from age 3 to 16. In Scotland, the government is in the process of finalising the updated guidance after a public consultation in 2023. Okay, so they're having an update guidance Scotland on that. Northern Ireland sounds a bit more, sounds a bit more, a bit more freelance. But some people may disagree with it because of it's, it's not very clear and it's kind of like putting it in the hands of the schools and the teachers to make that decision. But should it not be more of the decision of the teachers to make and schools? to make those decisions of what to do in these situations. Like I've said, this is um, this is to stoke culture wars. Um, does more need to be done for sex education for children? Absolutely. Absolutely. There should always be, there's always, always a need to review, look at these things. And many organizations, as well as teachers, as schools and parents, need to be frank and open discussions about these things about how the best way to engage and have these discussions and have these uh, lessons with children uh, absolutely there needs to be vermin and clear clear um, lots of discussion about this but in my opinion i don't know i don't think there is a right way of doing it because every child is going to be different there are some who are going to be completely fine and are going to be uh, are going to be completely fine, and not going to be fussed about it. There are going to be some that may have feelings, and then may not, and may forget about it, and just carry on. There may be some who end up starting having feelings and decide they want to change their sex later in life. There may be some that grow feelings of attractiveness to the same sex. Everybody is different. Everybody is unique in their own way. That is the reality. No one is the same. Everybody is different. To tell someone that they can't be what they want to be. Who are you to say that? But what age is it okay for them to make that decision? Is a difficult one, I say, because a child's mind is like a sponge. Do children have a full concept and understanding of sex and education do they have a full concept and understanding of lgbt at a young age they don't really which is why they need to be taught and need to be taught it the right way it should be in my opinion something taught by maybe even just as much by parents as it is by teachers it's a difficult one i know but what i don't want and this is really important. What I don't want, and this is this is the path that some kids may go, is learning about this outside of schools. Learning about things that if they ask questions in schools or parents and they don't get those answers about certain topics with regards to sex education, they will go out of their way to try and find out. And the internet is an un, is a wild west of information that they will find and they may come across information something that will not be within their interest and could put more harm to them it's not an easy one so what do you guys think what do you guys make of the plans do you think this is nothing but stoking culture war and i'm sorry if i took this one long because i really want to be careful with my words because I really do think that it's a difficult uh, discussion to talk about. But I also feel that this Conservative government are not the right government to make these decisions. For those of you who agree with me that the 14 years have obviously have been atrocious. So I don't think it is the right of the government to be playing around with these things. Now, how Labour approaches this is obviously a different matter. But if Labour are to make any changes whatsoever to sex education, they need to involve many organisations and teachers, schools, and parents, and whatnot, to be able to make the most based, the best, and clear guidance for all children. But what do you guys think about this? 
obviously by the time you watch this the guidance may have been published so maybe you'll have a clearer picture but i want to know your thoughts about this in the comment section down below what you feel how you feel about kids and with regards to sex education do you think that there should be an age gap perhaps from nine and above do you think it should vary from maybe from region from school maybe there should be a bit more looseness from the government and more there's more reins of schools and teachers to make clearer paths there is no easy answer when it comes to this topic but maybe some of you can help me and maybe help others in the comment section down below with your thoughts on this if you found this uh, video interesting or informative please hit the like button we greatly appreciate it share this across social media so others are notified of this video and subscribe because it really does help support the channel and if you want to go one step further financially support me and the work that i do here you could do so by becoming a youtube member for as little as 99p or join me on rumble patreon or facebook for exclusive content on those platforms thank you all so much for watching and i hope to catch you all very very soon